Alexa, office lights off. Today is April 1st, and we are recording episode 4 of A Slab of Glass. For those that don't know, A Slab of Glass is my new podcast about iPad and iOS stuff. It's a little more relaxed version of these videos. I host it with Jeff Perry from Tablet Habit. I'll I'll link his stuff below if you guys haven't heard of him. Um, And I'm really excited about this episode. It's going to be pretty awesome. But right now, I'm going to go get coffee. So I'm getting ready to record episode four of A Slab of Glass right now. The whole purpose of this video is I wanna show you guys how I record and edit a podcast. So if you guys are ever wanting to start a podcast or do have a podcast and wanna work strictly off your iPad, that's what this is for. There are some limitations with using iOS for podcasts. Right now you can only have one audio stream um, on an iOS device. So that means if I'm doing a Skype call on my iPad, I can't also record my local audio on my iPad. Now this is something that has to be fixed. It needs to be fixed. PCs and Macs have been able to have multiple streams of audios for years now. There's no reason why the iPad can't. Um, there are some workarounds and stuff. There's devices that'll just record local audio and things like that. Um, I, I've looked into those, but for right now what I'm doing is I'm using two iOS devices. I'm using an old iPhone 7 and my iPad Pro. So let's kind of get into the gear and I'm going to show you guys how I set it up. Now one of the fun parts about getting into podcasting is the gear. Now this definitely isn't just as easy as using a Mac and plugging a mic into it and grabbing a pair of headphones. This is definitely a little more complex and this isn't going to be for everyone. But if you're somebody that just travels with an iOS device or just wants to use an iOS device like an iPad or an iPhone and doesn't really want a Mac or a PC anymore, here's how you can podcast just like everybody else. So this is what you're going to need two iOS devices, a good microphone, a couple of lightning cables, two sets of headphones, one pair must have a microphone on them, camera connection kit, and most importantly for any podcaster, a bottle of water. First we plug a mic and a lightning cable into an iOS device. It doesn't matter which iOS device you use, but I use an older iPhone 7. My microphone of choice is a Blue Yeti, and this is all done using the USB camera connection kit from Apple. I've talked about it a lot, and it is really, really handy to have. Jeff, my co-host, will also be recording his side as well, and later I will put the two together during the edit. Next, let's grab an iPad. Here I'll use some earpods, the headphones that just come with any iOS device, so I can hear the Skype call and talk back. I'll also be using a lightning cable to make sure my iPad doesn't die on me. On the iPad, I run two apps side by side. The first app is Skype, so I can talk to Jeff. The second app is Google Docs. This is where we put all of our notes on the show and so we can keep track during the call. Once I have both devices set up, I plug my Audio-Technica ATH M50X headphones into my Blue Yeti. This way I can hear myself and make sure my audio is good. I put my Lightning headphones in first, then my Audio-Technica headphones over that. If you don't have big over-the-ear headphones, you can just use one earbud from one device in one ear and the other earbud from one device in the other ear. Once I have everything ready to go, I'll pull my mic over and start recording. I like to keep my Blue Yeti on a mic stand. This way, if I hit a table or do something weird, you won't hear that sound in the edit. The final step after we start the call, Jeff does a countdown, and when we both get to go, we both hit record on our individual recordings for the local tracks. So we just finished recording episode four of A Slab of Glass. It's in the can. I'm really excited. It's uploading to Auphonic right now. Um, I actually recorded it on my iPhone 7 and uploading it right now. What Auphonic does is it does processing. So it'll denoise it. It'll make sure it levels it correctly. So for podcasts, you technically want it at negative 16 decibels. Then when it's done, it'll add it to a Dropbox folder. Jeff does his side as well. So Probably tonight or tomorrow, I'll start recording this episode. We'll get into it. The app that I'm going to be using to edit is called Ferrite. Um, I highly recommend it for anybody that does any sort of spoken word audio. You can do recording and editing right in the episode. It's what I use to record it. So yeah, let's get into the editing part. I edit the podcast in Ferrite. What I'll do is I'll import the intro. Then I'll bring in our two audio clips. So our two local tracks. This is my audio track and Jeff's audio track. 
and then I'll line the two up so I can make sure the waveforms are set up right so that it basically plays just like how the phone call or Skype call sounded. Then I'll select each individual track and I'll strip the silence. Ferrite will go in and take all the empty bits out and the very low noise parts and I'll strip them completely out. Now all that's left are the parts where either I'm talking or Jeff's talking. Then I'll use the Titan tool to kind of bring everything together and make it sound a little more natural. Then I do a listen through the complete episode. Now this can take quite a while. This last episode I edited took about four hours. I'll do a listen through and I'll strip out all the parts where we're breathing or make a weird noise or maybe one of us moves and a bottle of water or something makes a sound or something like that. I'll listen through and I'll take all those bits out. Chop everything up and make it feel a little more natural. And then once I get through that and the edit's all good and I'm happy with it, I'll go through and I'll put chapter markers in. Once I'm completely done with the edit, I export it as a mono audio track and then upload it to our shared Dropbox folder. After that, Jeff takes it and creates the show notes and then uploads it to Simplecast where we do all of our hosting. So it is Thursday the 5th. Uh, I finished editing the episode uh, last night, Wednesday, and I think it's really terrific. This episode of A Slab of Glass is about keyboards, the Apple education event, and we talk about AirPods and a few of our other favorite Apple products um, in the after show. Um, I just wanted to point out that this show in particular is something Jeff and I have put a lot of work into. We really enjoy it. So if you guys are interested in iPad and iOS stuff, and if you're watching these videos, I'm guessing you are, check out the show. Um, I'll make sure there's a link below. If you guys have any questions or anything about Ferrite, I know I didn't spend a ton of time on it in this video. Um, I really just want, in this video, I wanted to show how I make podcasts, how I record and edit podcasts. If you're interested in that, let me know and I'll do a deep dive into that application. There's so many features and so many things I just didn't have time to cover, like keyboard shortcuts. That application has the best style of keyboard shortcuts ever. You can customize them. I'd love to see that across iOS completely. But find me on Twitter if you guys have any questions. I'm at Chris underscore Lolly. I'm put something right there. Um, if you guys have any questions as far as pod podcasting or iOS or anything goes, let me know. Hit me up. I'm more than happy to answer any questions. Twitter is the best place to get me because uh, I'm always on Twitter. Comments and, and email work sometimes, but I'm not always there. Um, Twitter is the best place. Absolutely. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have an awesome day.